Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting July 4th, 2016. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. So thank you very much for being here with me. Please remember these are general readings and so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. Just keep that in mind. Um, you can get a private reading by follow the, following the link in the description box below. But for now, just take away the messages that make sense to you, the messages that resonate with you and your situation, okay? So, Pisces, big week. You have three major arcana cards in your reading. Um, I would say most of, most of them are positive, um, and you do have some caution you have to pay attention to. Um, but it looks like a really awesome week, okay? And I'm excited because I'm a Pisces too. So, your overall guidance, well, overall energy, sorry, the overall energy for you of the week we have the princess of summer which is the page of cups in the traditional tarot and so the princess of summer is all about communication that is positive that is lovable that it brings you emotional fulfillment emotional contentment it is also talking about people interaction with a lot of people this week in a very positive way so new people come into your life um new friends come into your life new romantic partners come into your life a deepening of connections this is also talking about psychic vision, psychic thoughts, okay? So pay attention to your intuition, especially this week. I feel like you're very intuitive as it is, but this week I feel like your intuition is on another level. Um, so it's important that, first of all, you pay attention to that. Maybe keep a journal of your dreams, of your thoughts, of anything like that. Um, you know, messages that randomly pop into your head, but also you focus on protecting yourself, okay? Maybe working with crystals, maybe working with prayer, maybe working with meditation, maybe working with candles. It's important that you protect yourself because when you're this sensitive, you attract a lot of um, different kinds of energy, okay, coming your way. And so it's important that you keep yourself in a positive place, in a place of light, in a place of love, of support, okay? Um, so, the Princess of Summer also talks about new relationships that are happening, um, emotional experiences that are happening this week in a very positive way. You may find yourself um, going out more or you're invited to go out to social events uh, or you're invited to go out on dates this week. Uh, you may start new friendships, okay, or uh, you interact more with a compassionate friend that you can share your concerns with, okay? So it's a beautiful time um to be sensitive and kind but also kind of keep your eyes out uh for keep your eyes open for opportunity but also for uh keeping yourself in a positive place this week in terms of your career finances personal projects education we do have the moon so i feel like with the princess of summer and the moon i feel like for those of you who work with your spirituality and um, this is going to be an awesome week, okay? This is, like I say, you're going to be receiving a lot of messages. Your intuition is going to be on point. Um, pay attention. Make sure you spend time to connect to your intuition. Make sure you spend time to nurture your intuition. Dream journals, like I say, write things down. Try something new in terms of your spirituality. So maybe free writing or uh, working with candles if you haven't worked with candles or working with crystals if you haven't worked with crystals because I feel like you're expanding your knowledge when it comes to your spirituality, um, especially if it's to do with um, your career, your work life. Um, the moon is also talking about answers coming to you this week, so I feel like you're receiving very good news in terms of career, and maybe this is something you've had to wait on, and you've done everything you could, you just had to wait, and things were uh, unclear, you were uncertain about how things are going to turn out. And this is the week where you're receiving good news and you're receiving a job offer. You're receiving an invitation uh, to join a company, to join a partnership, to join um, an investor of sorts to promote your business, to move it forward, to see progress. Um, the moon also talks about culmination. So things are coming full circle for you this week. So I feel like things are going to pay off for you if you've done the work, if you've put in the time, the energy, the effort. Um, things are coming full circle for you this week and you're going to see rewards for all your hard work. Okay, And I feel like based on this, you're going to receive new job offers or opportunities to promote and advance your career. 
um, because the light is being kind of you are in the spot you're in the spotlight okay the light is on you and I feel like your reputation is is either improving or reaching more and more people you could find yourself going international with your business you could be going online with your business communication reviews recommendation is all positive for you this week so I feel like that is really going to advance your career there's also celebration in terms of graduations and this could be with your education this could be with any sort of training program that you are completing or um, anything to do with pursuing further education or anything like that I feel like things are coming to completion it's a very happy time you have celebration and you also have new job opportunities as a result of it in terms of your home and family situation we do have the eight of pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles is talking about new experiences, new homes, I feel. For some of you, you may be moving. Maybe you're moving to be closer to family. Maybe you're moving to be closer to children. Maybe you're moving uh, to be closer to your job. Because the Eight of Pentacles is also a card that talks about working on something. So you're working on the home or you're building the home or you are expanding the home maybe to accommodate children maybe to accommodate a pregnancy um, the eight of pentacles is doing home improvements maybe starting a garden maybe getting um, a sunroom together re um, decorating bringing new furniture in spring cleaning fresh new energy that you bring into the home Maybe you are paying money for a home, so you're buying a home at this time, or you're starting a lease at this time and you have to, to pay like a security deposit or anything like that at this time. And so you're working on making that house your home at this time. In terms of your emotional life and love life, I love this. It's the major iconic card and it's the star. So the star talks about uh, dream come true dream come true and this dream is life changing okay because it's a major arcana card and so i feel with the princess of summer and the stars this talks about pregnancy definitely children uh, uh pregnancy announcement or giving birth this week um and this concerns you or it concerns your partner especially if they're an aquarius or another water sign um the star card is also a dream come true in terms of maybe you're moving in together and you've been trying to do this for forever and this is the week when it finally happens for you. The stars is marriage proposals. Yes, marriage proposals. Um, you're being proposed to or you're doing the proposing this week. Taking a trip together, moving in with someone, buying a house together. Talking about family, expanding the family, having children, meeting the family. Whatever it is for you, because it can be anything, the stars talks about a wish coming true for you. So if you are single, you're meeting someone new this week. And this is going to be something like out of a romance book. Okay, this is being starry-eyed. It could be love at first sight, okay, if you believe in it. And if not, just give it a chance because I feel like it really could happen for you this week. Um... And like I say, this person could be an Aquarius or they could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this is someone who's very genuine. This is someone who's very honest, very open, very uh, gentle, kind, artistic, kind of dreamy, kind of mysterious. Um, and so I feel like definitely potential to start new relationships this week, definitely. And there's a lot of love and there's a lot of potential in these new connections. In terms of your health and well-being, we do have the devil. And so this is another major arcana card. And so I feel like this is the cautioning message in the reading. The devil card talks about it's important that, that you take control of your health. It's important that you focus on balance in everything you do this week. Um, I feel like it's important to work on cutting away bad habits, um, addictions okay with the devil maybe you're drinking too much maybe you're smoking too much maybe you are not exercising enough okay and so you're being um kind of in in that kind of stale energy that affects other areas of your life not just your health and, and well-being 
Um, and I feel like with the devil and the princess of summer, this is telling you bring new energy into your health and well-being. And really spend some time to focus on that and look at what it is that you're doing, your routines or lack thereof. Um, and come up with a plan. Come up with a plan on how to get things moving. Maybe join a group of people. Maybe join a new gym. Maybe join a club. Um, maybe join a different practice. Okay, talk to a different healer. Talk to a different physician. Because I feel like it's important that you keep things moving in terms of your health and well-being so that your um, bad habits or, um, I don't want to say laziness, but, you know, stale energy. I'm going to be, <laughs> uh, stale energy so that, you know, this kind of energy doesn't overwhelm you and you feel exhausted all the time and you feel overwhelmed and you feel like you don't want to do anything all the time. Because I feel like, again, you're being very sensitive at this time, very intuitive, very open. And so with the devil, this is telling you that you may pick up some sort of bad habits at this time, some sort of addiction or codependency type thing. Um, and so it's really, really important that you keep things fresh and new and you talk to people you interact with people you go out you exercise you sing you dance you get creative i feel like creativity plays a big part in your health and well-being and keeping everything on track this week so look into that and see what it is that you can do i feel like if you don't enjoy working out in the gym it's you can do anything okay it's up to you if you feel happy by dancing then you go ahead and you dance, okay? You dance for a good half an hour every day or whatever feels comfortable for you and that's really going to help you, okay? So get creative with how you take care of your health and well-being but focus on it. Give it some time and attention. Your guidance message for the week, we have Rochelle. And Rochelle says, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. So again, this is telling you that if you use your if you work in a spiritual field, if you have a spiritual business, if you use your intuition at work, if you use your creativity at work, um, things are going to be very, very good for you at this time. Business is going to be booming. You're going to see a lot more clients. You're going to see a lot more work, um, a lot more rewards definitely coming to you. I feel like you're going to have a lot of ab abundance coming your way this week. And I do feel that it's just the beginning. Um, and this is also telling you to follow your heart in everything you do this week. And your heart is your intuition. So follow your intuition in absolutely everything you do this week because it is going to take you towards your highest good. It is going to take you towards your prosperity, your abundance, whether that is with your money, with your emotions, with your ideas, with your health, whatever it is, follow your heart, follow your intuition. Make sure you make time to meditate. Make sure you make time to pray this week. Uh, starting a yoga practice would be good. Just spending a few minutes in nature every day would be awesome for you. Okay, and um, get yourself in a place of calm, harmony, positivity, safety. Okay, I feel like protect yourself um, energetically. And just keep things going, okay? Keep the energy fresh. Talk to people. Interact. Go out there. Go online. Um, because you're moving towards prosperity. Your, your intuition is guiding you towards prosperity at this time. So there you have it. These are your messages for the week. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it's useful. I hope it makes sense. Let me know what you think and let me know how your week is going. I hope it's a fantastic week for everyone and I will talk to you soon. Take care.